Jocelyn Castle is a medieval castle at Jocelyn, in the Marlborough Department of Brittany, France. First built in the 11th century and rebuilt at various times since. It has been designated as a monument historic since 1928. History. Gwerth Enoch, Vicomte of Porhurt, Rowan and Gue Acute Me Acute and Acute, began to build the first castle on the site around the year 1008, choosing a rocky promontory overlooking the valley of the Oust. The new fortress was named after Gwerth Enoch's son, Gaselinus. The site chosen for the castle was excellent from both the commercial and the military points of view, and since the 9th century there had also existed an annual pilgrimage in September to the Basilica of Our Lady of the Bramble, which added greatly to the wealth of the lords and people of Jocelyn. In 1154 Otto, Viscount of Porhurt, stepfather, guardian and regent of the young Conan IV, Duke of Brittany, collected the Breton lords to deprive Conan of his inheritance, but was defeated by Henri II of England, who was also Duke of Anjou, whose protection Conan had sought. Henry married his fourth son, Geoffrey, to Conan's only child, Constance, Duchess of Brittany, and Henry and his son pulled Jocelyn Castle down in 1168 and 1175. Henry II himself led the demolition and sowed salt into the ruins. During the Breton War of Succession, the garrison of Jocelyn fought inconclusively the defenders of the nearby castle of Ploermel. To break the impasse, the Battle of the Thirty was arranged, contested by thirty knights from each side, and took place on 26 March 1351 halfway between the two places. The men of Jocelyn defeated the champions of Ploemel, who consisted of four Bretons, six Germans, and twenty Englishmen. In 1370 the Breton soldier Olivier de Clisson, later Constable of France, acquired the lordship of Jocelyn and built an imposing new fortress with eight towers and a keep 100 yards across. He married his daughter Beatrice to Alanate of Rowan, heir to the Viscounts of Rowan, whose own castle was not far away. The castle now boasts an equestrian statue of Olivier de Clisson. In 1488 Francis II, Duke of Brittany, took the castle and partially demolished it. His daughter, Anne of Brittany, restored it to John II of Rowan, a great-grandson of Olivier de Clisson who transformed the property and built a noble new house with a fine granite façade, an early example of Renaissance architecture, importing Italian artists and artisans. In recognition of his patroness Anne, sovereign Duchess of Brittany and Queen Consort of France, Rowan added to the façade at several points the sculpted letter A beneath the cord, her badge banned from Jocelyn due to their Protestantism, René II, Viscount of Rowan and the other Rowan men could not prevent the Duke of Mercur, then Governor of Brittany, from turning their castle into a base for the Catholic League in its struggles against Henry IV of France. In 1603, after being advanced by Henri IV to a dukedom, Henry, Duke of Rowan, one of the leaders of the insurgent Huguenots, transferred his military headquarters to his castle of Pontivy. In 1629, Cardinal Richelieu dismantled the keep and four of the towers at Jocelyn and announced to Duke Henry, My lord, into your game of skittles I have just thrown rather a good ball. In the 18th century, the castle was no longer occupied as a seat of power, and during the years of the French Revolution and the First French Empire it became a prison and warehouse. In 1822 Caroline, Duchess of Berry, persuaded the then Duke of Rowan, Louis-François de Rowan Chabot, to restore it. The antechamber of the castle contained a marble bust of the 13th Duke, Alain Louis Auguste de Rowan Chabot, sculpted in 1910 by August Rodin. The castle is still her residence at Jocelyn de Rowan, 14th Duke of Rowan, who was President of the Region of Brittany from 1998 to 2004.